All right. I'll give it a couple more minutes. Still hear a lot of people joining. Hello, Mariah from Laguna Beach. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. I love the community around the the, life, the patches and the life wave. Pretty new to it. It's pre Part of what really drew me in was the community. So thanks everybody for coming, showing up. Yes. All right, let's see. Whoa, Victoria, I just read your comment. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce myself. I wanna make sure everybody's getting in. Admit all, okay. Now they're still joining. Give it another minute. Don't be impatient, Jill. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hello. Hey, Andy. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice hey, to Lindsay. Be here. Thanks. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Stacy, Sherry's our new, my newest team member. Which one is Sherry? Where is Sherry? Sherry. She's down oh, below. Okay, no, no, yep. got it. Sherry uh, Rongsky? Yep. Got it. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, great. I'm reading your comments here in the chat. Let's give it a few more minutes. Yeah, people are coming in. Your greatest, youngest, great granddaughter has died. Admin as well, Jill. Do you want to make me an admin to be able to admit if you're winning? Yeah, you're yeah, that would be great. Do you know how to do that? Uh, let me see. <clears throat> View. Okay, I'm yeah. going to find you and then make you an admin. There you are. Or a co host. A co host. Oops, got the wrong person. Almost made somebody here a co host. Let's see. <laughs> Anyone okay. Yeah, I know. That's true. Yes. Okay. I'm going to get started. Um, Perfect. To go for it. All right. My name is Jill Woodworth, and I am the the um, the host here. <laughs> Not that it matters because I know there's such a supportive community. Um, I'll just give you a little bit of my background uh, to get started, and then I'll um, introduce Stacy. Share a little bit of information about the the patches that we're here to talk about, the stem cell activated patches, and let Stacy share her testimonial. And then QA, a little more about the patches actually before the QA and wrap up with that. And if anyone wants to jump in and share at that point, you know, we'll we'll just kind of open the floor. So I'm shooting for about an hour. If it's a little under or over, that'll that'll be how it is. So anyways, thanks again for coming. I'm a, I'm a, you know, a special needs parent. I have five children. Three of my children have a condition called tuberous sclerosis complex, which uh, causes benign tumors to grow in different organs of the body. So if uh, you can imagine in uh, the traditional medical system, it's very challenging to manage because you're dealing with it organ by organ and there's a lot of disconnects and over time, you know, when the kids are younger, um, it's a little more manageable, but as they get older, I found personally um, to manage their care um, and to teach them to manage it was ex just excruciatingly almost impossible. So, um, and also just getting really disillusioned with a lot of uh, what I was seeing as far as not really wanting to doctors being resistant to anything outside of their, you know, their comfort zone, their, what they've been taught. Um, and me exploring, 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 looking for whatever I could find to help my kids um, going into cannabis, finding a lot of really great um, people and uh, some treatments there. Uh, it be it also being tricky and a little expensive to uh, manage that, though I believe it's got tremendous potential. So I don't want to knock any particular treatment here. And before I go too far, I want to mention that I am not a doctor. We are not doctors. Or, well, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. Um, the information discussed is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. If you're pregnant, nursing taking medication or have a medical condition, please consult your physician first. So I'm reading that statement. Um, anyway, so I bumped into somebody 
doing this freedom flash mob that um, that had information on the patches and was using the, these patches. And she reached out to me and she said, did you get the patches? And I said, no, I did not. I had no idea what she was talking about. That's Lindsay Hurley. She's here at the meeting. And um, I was curious, though, when she said stem cells and I do a podcast and I thought, well, I'll talk to her and I'll invite her on my podcast and I'll learn more about them that way. And so Lindsay came on my podcast and shared with me about these X39 stem cell patches that she she'd been using and had been witnessing incredible results with other people that she'd given them to. And I was really, um, and, and she offered me a few and I decided to try them. And I'll tell you, I, I started trying them and I didn't see results at first, which um, is fairly common. Uh, so I, I I admittedly got, I got a little frustrated. I think at one point I even took them off and I was like, I don't know if these are working, but um, my son, I also use them on my son who's 21. Again, I said he has a tuber sclerosis complex. And one of the issues we've been dealing with uh, with him is a lot of uh, behavioral issues. He has epilepsy and some autism strands of, um, you know, personality, uh, but the main issue with him was behavior. And I started to notice, you know, I put the patches, the X39 patch that he was less reactive, his stress tolerance was better. Um, and those two things can make a huge difference in the life of a parent with um, kids that have uh, behaviors and aggression. I don't know if any, I'm sure some of you out there have had that those experiences, maybe all of you, I don't know, but um, just that little bit of, you know, it wasn't a huge, like, oh my God, this huge thing has happened. But it was kind of like, I looked back and I was like, oh, it's been like a month and he hasn't had an outburst. And then he was doing more things. Like he initiated some things that I had never seen him do before. He, he His writing and reading aren't great, but he was able to email our local history, um, historical society and get information about his uh, a property that he's really interested in history. Um, and he did that all on his own. So initiating things like that was like, oh my goodness. So I was, you know, at that point I was sold and um, I was starting to see some results myself. So I, I just, it, it was just so far out of left field. I had no idea that something like this could be so transformative. So I'm, I felt like I wanted to share this with people right away. Um, I'm in several different special needs communities and thought it would be great to, uh, just have a call and talk about it. And I'd heard Dr. Stacy, uh, her testimonial was one of the first ones that Lindsay sent me when I was learning about the patches. And I know she has a 19 year old daughter uh, with special needs that she's used these with. I'm gonna just give a brief um, intro of Dr. Stacy that you are, you've been coaching and healing family members, clients and patients from all over the world. Uh, you have a, Upbringing for homegrown, grow it here on the land, led to passion for mind, body, spiritual, and quantum wellness that resulted in an entrepreneurial career. You've been a regenerative medicine, you, or been, you've been using regenerative medicine to change people's lives for nearly 20 years. You're a teacher, network marketer, public speaker. Oops, I got somebody joining on phone. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, just, where was I? Speaker. Author and doctor, you're an author and a, doc a doctor with a PhD in quantum integrative medicine. So uh, Dr. Stacy, thanks so much for joining the call. Do you wanna give a little more of an introduction on yourself and then I'll share a little bit um, before, or actually just go ahead and start start talking. <laughs> okay, thank <laughs> you so much, Jill. Just go ahead and start talking, just go for it. <laughs> just go for it, please. You better be careful when you say that, girl. Okay. I your information. I love to talk. Um, so you, what you said was correct. Yes. I used to be a school teacher. I started teaching over 30 years ago. So education is in my core of who I am. So I love to teach. I love to educate people and, and share information with people. And of course, being in health and wellness as a holistic practic practitioner at first, um, and then, of course, growing that over the years into the um, doctorate program, of course, but utilizing all along the way, the um, tools and modalities and technologies, technologies that I've used myself and that I've used on my daughter. So 
I definitely want to share with you her story if you haven't heard that and um, kind of give you a little bit of background where we came from and then um, be able to share the information with you about uh, the modality that Jill was telling you about, the, the patch, the stem cell activation patch, and then also answer any questions. Uh, but just to make sure you understand, I am not your medical doctor. I am not a medical doctor at all. Uh, like Jill said, I have a PhD in integrative medicine. So I incorporate many different modalities um, inside of a holistic um, type of foundation. So definitely don't write prescriptions and, or anything like that. So I, I, I'm not going to be able to tell you, well, this medication does this with this and, and whatnot, because that's just not my area of expertise. But I do want to answer any of your questions to the best of my ability as well, of course. So um, just to let you know a little bit, first of all, for me, I have been researching stem cells for the last 20 years. If they're new to you, then um, time to jump on board <laughs> immediately uh, with stem cells because of the regenerative power. Um, they're really the holy grail of healing. I learned about stem cells from a random a lifetime TV show that popped on when I was pregnant with Taylor 20 years ago. And I don't ever watch TV. So I thought, wow, this is crazy. And it was talking about African-American children that were being healed, like literally cured of sickle cell anemia by giving the practitioners were giving them donor cord blood. And, you know, there's no one harmed in the process of a baby being delivered. Um, when they cut the umbilical cord from the mother and the baby, they discard that cord and the placenta, right? So just to be clear, because a lot of people are very um, concerned and also get confused about this. This is not a boarded fetus. Um, I was in the delivery room. My child came out of me and the doctor cut the cord and, and the carrier courier took that cord to a cryo facility in Cincinnati, Ohio, where it has been banked ever since. And my son's is as well too. So I found out about this um, back when I was pregnant with Taylor, like I said, and so um, cord blood is very rich, viable blood that can be used to treat uh, many things, right? Um, they were talking about diabetes and heart disease and strokes and, you know, cancers and things like that. And I thought, man, this is something I want to have for my kids down the road if they ever need. Okay. So my child's cord blood, <laughs> both of my children are stored in that facility in Cincinnati. So just so you understand that nothing I'm going to be discussing here has anything to do with aborted fetuses or any type of parts of, 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 of babies or anything like that, that is um, uh, completely unethical, right? And, then, and not, not what we're here to talk about. But um, kind of fast forward a few years, when Taylor was four, she was having some bruising issues and she was actually misdiagnosed with a bone cancer, Ewing sarcoma. And so we went in for a biopsy for that diagnosis. And they said, gosh, it's not you in sarcoma. We're really not for sure what this is. Let's see if we can find something else. So they did some more tests and they're like, well, we think it might be lymphoma. And then it was like, no, no, not lymphoma. Let's try again. And so they did some more tests and they said, well, gosh, her blood just looks abnormal. She must have an adult leukemia. She's four. Okay. She's four. She must have an adult leukemia and need a bone marrow transplant at age four. My normal four-year-old needs a bone marrow transplant because she has an adult leukemia. So our worlds were completely flipped upside down, right? We didn't, we didn't know what any of this was. I mean, you know, my kids weren't sick. They had never been on antibiotics. We only went to the doctor for the well check visit, you know, that kind of thing. And so we spent a year in the hospital from age four to five. Um, during that time, about six months of that was an ICU. Um, she had had more pokes and prods and needles and um, surgeries. She had had a brain bleed at one point in time from a procedure they did. She had coded at another time. We had put her in a coma. Um, it was just a really horrible, rough year um, in the hospital. We were up in Indiana at the time. And so finally, I'd learned enough from the doctors and, and nurses. Remember, I told you I was a teacher. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this is not my world. But I learned enough from some really amazing nurses and doctors that I pulled her out of the hospital. She was on 25 oral and IV medications, mostly IV. She had a central line, a PIC line, a G-tube, a J-tube, and a trach. 
And she did not walk or talk or understand anything that I was saying because she was so heavily medicated. We didn't even know if we had anything left cognitively, cognitively of her after the brain bleed and the code and the coma. And so we came home and I went down a very holistic path immediately um, with different types of practitioners from all over the world that were coming together to do these, these integrative um, type intensive um, retreats. Um, and so did those along with everything else under the sun for a solid year and a half and detoxed her little body and got to the point where I'm like, okay, we're off all the medications. I believe we have mental abilities still here. I believe she still understands. And so we started working with a, a special needs teacher to help us to see that, yes, she did understand what we were saying, blinking her eyes, pushing. She could start to push switches for yes or no, things like that. And so our quest for everything under the sun holistic um, was really birthed during that first year and a half, right, of being with all these different practitioners and people all over the country. And so we spent, this has been almost, you know, 15 years now that we have been doing all types of things, um, all types of modalities, and every tincture, every pill, every supplement, every detox, every bath, every scrub, every tank, every, we've put her in so many things. We've spent the last 10 years doing uh, different types of stem cell therapy. So we've done hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy. We spent 62 hours down in those tanks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I can say that she did receive some benefit from that, but the benefits are short lived. They're not something that lasts um, forever. It's a, it's a short term thing. And it was um, tens of thousands of dollars. And so a lot of time I had to literally live with her four hours from our home for four months. Um, doing that therapy. So that was hard, you know, being away from my son, of course, and, and husband, but um, again, all to help her have a better quality of life. And we've done traditional stem cell therapy out of the country. We went to Mexico to get three stem cell injections. We have done stem cell therapy here in the country. Uh, at the beginning of 2020, I flew her out to California and we did um, laser directed with this new German technology of stem cell therapy using wow. her own stem cells. And so we've done everything, right? Just trying all the things. And last year, I was introduced to this little patch that Jill's talking about. And I had no idea what it was when the man, um, I didn't know I was introduced um, by a mutual friend. He owns a wellness center and she'd ask if I would meet him and do some meditation breath work for his salt room. He had a performance sports um, type wellness center. And I said, sure, absolutely. I'll do that. And way out of my comfort zone to do that for a random stranger for his public <laughs> location. I meditate every day and I teach it and I, you know, we do it together in groups at retreats and whatnot, but definitely not something I do in the, in, you know, on the regular for strangers, but something inside of me said, go do that, go do it, just do it and say yes. And so I did, and, and I went there and recorded and, and everything. And on the way out the door, he said, oh, we have these stem cell patches. And I'm like, a stem cell what? I've never heard of a stem cell patch. He said, yeah, yeah, it just came out like a couple of years ago. It's this patch, and he showed me his whoop. I don't know if you're familiar with a whoop, but it's this little black armband that you wear. It's kind of like an Apple watch on steroids, honestly. But you wear it 24-7, and it tells you all the things about yourself, your sleep, your recovery, your metrics, your anxiety, your stress, your water. I mean, it just reads everything about your body. And I was like, oh, that's great, Lance. I'm so excited for you that you're getting such great results. How do I buy them? <laughs> You're a, you're a tennis pro coach. I'm I'm so happy you're having great success. But if this is something I don't know about and it does something with stem cells, I need it for my child. And so I walked out that th the door that day with a month's supply of them. And I had no idea really even what they were. But at the same time, a good friend of mine, April, we've been friends for 20 years. And she'd been blowing my phone up that week. I'm like, girl, I'm so busy. I've got this wellness center, this thing I've got to do. And she's like, we've got to talk on the phone. I found something that's a, that's literally eliminated my rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. Like I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't walk down the aisle at my daughter's wedding two weeks ago. I wasn't sleeping. My hands were crumpled in, in pain. And now I'm like, fine. It's just, I have to tell you about this. And I'm like, send me your link. I'll buy it. I know you, I like you. I trust you. I'll buy whatever you say. You say it's going to benefit Taylor. And she's like, no, 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 get on the phone. So I'm like, fine, get on the phone. This is going to be a three hour conversation. I love April, but it's a long time on the phone, right? So we get on the phone and I'm like, just send me the link. I'm going into Trey's basketball game. I love you. Send me the link. I get it. Stem cell sounds wonderful. You know, didn't have any idea. It was the same thing. She sends me the link and I'm like, oh my God, 
this is the exact same thing I just bought. So you know how those synchronicities happen in your life and you're like, wait, what? I just heard about this. Now I'm hearing about this again. And she goes, no, 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 it gets better. David Schmidt, the inventor of these patches, the CEO owner of the company, he's coming to Sarasota, Florida, where you live in four days. Wow. And I'm like, okay, the earth just stopped on its axis. <laughs> the seas were parted and enters Dr. Stacy Holweger to LifeWave. Give me everything you have right now on this. <laughs> I need to know immediately. I need all your videos. I need all your research. I need all your data. I need it all. And I also need to order immediately. So because I know her like her investor of 20 years, I said, get me on the phone with somebody that knows. She's like, girl, I don't know. I just put this thing on the back of my neck and it did this. I'm like, give me a practitioner. So she connected me with some people. They were practitioners, holistic practitioners. And so they explained it. And I'm like, totally get it. Understand all that. Yes. Just tell me where to go to get a big amount of this because I want it. My husband wants it. We've wanted stem cells, but we don't want to pay, you know, twenty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a piece per person each year. But stem cells are the literally the holy grail of healing. They literally are for longevity, re regeneration, everything. Like we know the power of them to keep your body young and youthful. And so I'm like, this is a piece of cake I'm in. And I said, but I'm not, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll go to the event. I definitely want to hear what this man has to say. I want to hear about this, but that's all. I'm just going to be a product user, right? That's it. So I go to the event four days later. I'm supposed to have a girl's weekend. I call my girlfriend. I'm like, girl, I'm out. <laughs> I got to go hear this owner. I got to hear what's going on because this is really important for my child and for our future. And she's like, well, you tell me everything you need, you know, because I want it too. She's 55. And she's like, if you're getting them, I'm getting them. I want to regenerate myself. And so I go to the event and I listen to David speak for two hours. And it's super sciencey, super detailed, just in depth about how these patches work. And I'm going to give you the, the, cliff notes. Right. And I was just enthralled. Well, then the next hour was spent with the people that were there in this, um, you know, conference room in this hotel, there were 250 people and they were coming up to share their personal testimonials. Now I'm, I'll be 48 this year. And so I, you know, I was 47 and I was the youngest person in the room and I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm going, okay, mm -hmm something's going on here. Something's going on. These people are running down the aisle. They're running to the front. They're screaming their joys of being in wheelchairs and being crippled and in pain and from back surgeries and car accidents. And they were talking about their strokes and their paralysis and their heart attacks. And they're waving their papers, you know, their, their reports from their doctors, their blood work and, you know, autoimmune issues and bipolar and depression and anxiety. And I'm covered in chills. This went on for an hour. And it wasn't one or two people. I'm, I'm telling you, there was at least 80 to 100 people that came up. And that wasn't even the basic stuff. Like she, the lady was like, stand up if you had pain relief. All 250 people stood up. Stand up if you sleep better. All 250 people stand up. Stand up if you have more energy or concentration or clarity. They all stood up. Stand up if you had faster wound healing. Well, of course they all stood up, right? And so I'm like, okay, this is much bigger than I thought. So I look at my friend, Laura, she had had um, breast cancer four years ago and had healed herself with diet, nutrition, detoxification, supplementation, all completely natural um, in six months, like stage three breast cancer took nothing six months later. And so I had taken, I mean, I asked her to go with me. And so so anyways, we look at each other and we're both crying. We're both covered in chills. And she's like, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to tell everybody I know about this. This is the price of a cup of coffee a day. This is non-invasive. This is affordable. This is easy. And obviously it's working. It's working in a very big way. And so she's like, well, if you're telling people, I'm telling people. And I said, okay, let's start telling people, girl, we got to go right now. Let's tell everybody we know, right? It's just like, I still feel that way. I still feel like I have so many people that I haven't even spoken to about this yet. So basically, you guys, I, of course, started using the patch with Taylor. I started using another patch with her that's called Eon. And I'm going to share with you her results and what we noticed with her. Eon is a patch that reduces inflammation. So remember I told you we've done a lot of different stem cell therapies with Taylor? Well, I didn't know. How did I not know this? I just didn't know, or maybe it wasn't God's timing for me to know this, that when you have inflammation in the body, that the inflammation is consuming the majority of the stem cells that are going in. So if you inject 2 million stem cells into the body, and of course, they're going to go right to the inflammation, right? That's what you do. You inject them in the knee, you inject them in the shoulder, you inject them in the back, right? Wherever the inflammation is. 
where the pain is. Well, if you inject 2 million, the inflammation is going to consume the majority of them. You were probably going to end up with 200,000 stem cells left to try to do some repair. Now that is not very good odds. And that explains why with Taylor 10 years, we saw some progress, but if anything, maybe she didn't regress, but we didn't see these dramatic improvements. I mean, the kids had more surgeries than I can count. Literally, I would never even attempt to count how many she's had. I mean, a, bra a massive brain bleed that literally was seconds from killing her. It was that large of a bleed. I don't, the damage is just right. I can't even imagine. So inflammation through the roof, even all these years where I've had, she's been on no medications, no, no surgeries or anything. None of that since her diet is dialed in. I kept her G tube all these years because kids don't, people don't want to eat what's healthy. right? Everybody should have a G tube. Just squirt the stuff you don't want to eat right to your stomach. You never have to taste it. And then occasionally eat some pasta or something. That's my 19 year old all these years. Right. And so, so I kept that G tube to be able to give her proper nutrition. I've had her blood work done panels done. Everything looks absolutely incredible. And so I know that I've done everything nutritionally to support her body as well too. Right. And so basically what we found with the patch using the X39 and the Eon instantly within that first week, we noticed difference in her communication. We noticed her voice sounded different. We noticed that she started um, laughing a whole lot more than she was. And, and she's always been a happy kid. She started answering us on command. Like before you, she would say, uh-huh, uh -huh, but you couldn't like make her say it. <laughs> you were thinking this is just a sassy teenager, but she just wouldn't respond if you ask her a question, no matter what, only if she wanted to, we thought, or maybe there just weren't the processes there in her brain. The pathways weren't there for her to be able to every single time. And so she started communicating with us on the spot, just like this, answer a question, uh-huh, uh-uh. We noticed a couple of weeks in, she would start to say, I don't know. We're like, okay, well, you just don't know that. So where's your brother? I don't know. I'm like, okay, I don't know either. You know? And so she started saying a few new words. And then I started adding the carnosine. Okay. The carnosine is a patch that works with the brain. It balances the left brain, right brain. And it improves cognition. Now, carnosine is an antioxidant. If you take it in supplement form, your stomach acid will eat it immediately. So it's useless. Um, so carnosine we have in our body, but this patch increases. It signals our body to make more of its own carnosine because we make less of it as we age, right? Or if there's injury or illness or, or damage, okay? And so carnosine loves to hang out in the brain. It loves to get in there and do all kinds of, you know what antioxidants do, right? They're like, yes, we're having a party in here. And so it loves to hang out in the heart and it loves to hang out in the muscles. Okay. The, the tendons, the ligaments and the muscles and, and just really to help repair, recover um, and improve the, the functionality of them. And so when we added carnosine with Taylor, just two, three times a week at night before bed, we noticed that her vocabulary even increased more and she started communicating with other people on demand. And we noticed her teacher, she writes a note every single day after school. And we never told the teacher about the patches. They're, you know, on the back of her neck. She can't see them down below her shirt, right? They don't change her shirt at school or anything. And her hair is really long. And so she started writing like, gosh, Taylor's really interacting. Like she's giving us different signals, different sounds, um, different ways to communicate, to tell us her different needs. Like now we know when she's hungry. Now we know when she's wet. Now when she, we know when she needs to get out of her chair, things she's never done before. And we were able to have a conversation with her, like 15 minute long conversation. Like Taylor, did you have a good day? Yeah. What was your, was your favorite part? Like spending, cause I'd read your teacher's notes, spending time with your teacher one-on-one. Uh-huh. Did you guys like to go outside and go for a walk? Yeah. And so she would just answer, right. And again, the same thing for other people. So that communication improved all the same time, right. All month after month, things are improving. We're noticing physical changes. Physically, the structure of her body was changing. She had, we had been to, um, she had her, her head looked like basically what had happened over the course of a few years of a growth spurt. Her eye was starting to close. The bone on her eyebrow was protruding out. 
And it, it was causing this eye to close and it barely was open unless she was, you know, in a certain position laughing. So I took her to the eye doctor. He's like, no, I took her to a, he recommended a facial plastic surgeon for kids. He's like, no, it has nothing to do with any of that. So he said, go to the neurosurgeon. Yes. She had had a Maya reservoir placed in her brain, which is what causes the brain bleed. He's like, it has nothing to do with that. I'm not taking that out of her head. It is that her body because she has grown and she doesn't have the muscles, her bones have twisted and torqued to where it has literally shifted her skull. And it is causing this to be this way in her eye, her face, her whole side of her face. There's nothing you can do. Well, we're watching, <laughs> right? After using these patches, now her eyes are completely open. There's no protrusion at all. There's no twist. There's no torque. Her back is straightening out from the severe scoliosis. It's not straight yet, but it is straighter than it's ever been. Her legs are straightening out. Her arms, where she's always been just so in, are relaxing. Her, her fingers, her fingers are now long. Her toes are long. Her feet and her hands never grew. Literally the last 15 years, they have never grown until now. Literally now her fingers and her toes and her feet, her hands are growing. Her hormones have completely balanced. I remember the first month in, I asked David because I was, I was concerned. Reading the research from the Eon patch shows that it lowers fibrinogen. And fibrinogen is a blood clotting factor. And, and fibrinogen is a, um, a, an increase in fibrinogen in your blood is a direct link to cardiovascular disease. All right. So more indicative than uh, high cholesterol. So get your fibrinogen checked. <laughs> We're about your cholesterol. Oh. So, and you can read the research on that. The studies are all out there. High fibrinogen means that your blood is thick. It's clotting, right? And it's, it's too thick. And it goes with platelets, right? When you clot your blood. Taylor's always had low fibrinogen. That's why she would bruise so easily, right? And I asked David at an event I went to in LA back in June, uh, just a month in the, in the business. And he said, the patch is going to bring the body in balance. If the fibrinogen is high, it's going to bring it down because it's an inflammatory marker. If it's low, then it's going to bring it up and in balance. And I'm thinking if this fibrinogen bottoms out of this child, she's going to bleed out, but I guess we'll see. I'm trusting you. <laughs> and of course it completely balanced out. She stopped bruising. She started having menstrual periods again. She had them like five years ago, every other month they were abnormal. Then there were two that we were going to the hospital for blood transfusions. She hadn't had any for three years, month one on the patches. She started with a period completely normal, five, six days, stop. No big deal. Again, the next month, month after month, after month, every single month, a normal menstrual cycle. And then it would stop. And which is huge. If you know anything about hormones and the brain, the neurotransmitters, you need to have a monthly menstrual cycle if you are a woman, right? Unless you get to that age, of course. But when you're a child, a teenager, you need one. When you're even an adult right now, right? If I wasn't having a normal menstrual cycle, my doctor would be like, oh my God, we've got to figure out your hormones. But we don't. Side note with myself, I had my blood work done by my ND earlier this year, um, just to kind of see where I was at, right? From using the patches, I wanted to kind of get a baseline and just, you know, see what she would say. I've never been to a, a, a doctor. Literally, I saw one to deliver both my children and then I haven't seen her since. And the last time I saw a doctor, I was 18. Remember I said, I'll be 48. <laughs> so 30 years, I, I see chiropractors, acupuncturists, massage therapists, but not a doctor. Impressive. And so um, I went to an ND and I'm like, I just want to see what you tell me about my blood. Tell me what you know about myself from looking at my blood. And she said, well, I can tell you you're nowhere near um, menopause. I can also tell you that you, based on your blood work, you're 30 years old and you're a healthy female. And I'm like, that's great. I'll be 48 this year. And she's like, there's no way possible. Absolutely not possible that you're going to be that age. And I'm like, that would be the power of these patches. <laughs> So anyway, that was a side note. So with Taylor, we've continued continue to see improvements over the year. Uh, we've continued to see progress. She looks different. It's just crazy. And it seems like you won't notice anything. And then all of a sudden, like I took a picture of her on Mother's Day with her puppy. We got her a, a new puppy. And I'm like, you, you don't, you don't even look the same. Like you look like a totally different child. She's just happy. She just, and she's always been happy, but this is a different level of happy. This is a different level of joy that she's experiencing and different level of interaction, like so aware where before she would just zone out. 
she'd zone out a lot. And now she's very aware, very interactive. Even the massage therapist, I took her last week. It's a new massage therapist. And she goes, she actually looked at me and made eye contact, like literally eye contact Mm -hmm. where, you know, she doesn't do that with people. She just, just doesn't. So huge improvements with her. Um, I have used sporadically glutathione with her. Um, Like I said, we got the detox game, you know, um, pretty, pretty down. So for me, glutathione, I have, I have to feel something um, before I use it with her and I have to, I muscle test it. And so if I feel like she needs glutathione, then I'll use that on her. If I, you know, does this serve her highest good? Then yes, of course I'll, I'll put it on her. Um, but it, not that there's anything wrong using it daily. You can absolutely use it daily. Most people need massive detoxification and immune boosting in their lives. Um, but with her, I just, I've always muscle tested everything and I've always had to feel it. Uh, before and just really go with my gut um, and where I've led. But I feel the the glutathione has, it's obviously been beneficial for her in different aspects, but um, definitely the X39 Eon and carnosine, um, anybody dealing with anything <laughs> with the brain, with the heart, um, the, the muscles, you know, reducing the inflammation, increasing the stem cell production, and then, you know, being able to support the body with the antioxidants like carnosine and glutathione are huge. And and there are 12 patches. So I'm not going to go over all of those, but I do want to share with you um, how this works. Yeah. And um, then from there, I definitely want to um, see what questions you have. Okay. And so here's the thing. I want you to, to feel yourself, feel your chest or your arm or something, right? You are emitting heat, right? You better be 98.6. Okay. That is a low level infrared light. And so we know this because this is measured, right? If you go outside at night, you can only see the person through night vision goggles, right? And you will see colors, which is the light that they're emitting. So we know that we emit a low level infrared light. This patch, okay, this, I'm going to say the stem cell activation patch has an, a proprietary blend, okay? If you remember David Schmitz, the inventor, the, the CEO, the owner of the company, he's the lab rat that um, has figured out how, <laughs> this, how to make this work, but it took him 10 years, okay? So this proprietary blend of organic amino acids, salts and sugars, water that form a crystal lattice, okay? not crystal like clear quartz crystal or amethyst or rose quartz. This we're talking light. Okay. We're talking frequency, right? And so this crystal lattice is embedded in this patch. Okay. And so when you who are light, put this patch on your body, your body's light reflects back a signal from the patch. Okay. Nothing is going into the body nothing. There's no substance. There's surely not any stem cells. Okay. There's nothing going in the body. There are no amino acids. I've had people ask me, well, you said there's sugars, there's salt. I can't have sugar. And I'm like, this is not sugar. (laughs) It's, it's light. It's a crystal lattice that is formed from combining these compounds. Okay. It's called photobiomodulation or phototherapy. Okay. You can Google it. You can go to start x39.com and you will be able to watch David talk about this and the science. And you'll also be able to read there that there's a 20 year patent on this patch. You guys know you don't get patents unless something is legit, right? Like you don't just get to get a patent on something unless it is proven. A hard process. Yeah, it is. And so we have, David has over 90 clinical studies double blind placebo studies done with people that prove the effectiveness of this patch to regenerate the cells, the tissues, and the organs of the body. And you can find every single one of those studies at startx39.com. So you can see the different biomarkers that are used. You can see the different measurement tools that are used to be able to assess the body, the different systems, the different organs, and to show the improvement with people over the course of days, weeks, and months using the patch. There is an incredible compound effect 
people always want to know, what am I going to notice first? And how long do I have to use this? Right? What are you going to notice first? I don't know. This is not a medication. This is not going to change your blood pressure tomorrow. It's not like taking a blood pressure medication. This is not Lipitor that's going to change the number on your cholesterol panel, right? This is not a Percocet that's going to, you know, dull your pain instantly and probably throw you in bed. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So this patch, people do notice pain reduction, like I mentioned earlier, right? They notice better sleep, deep REM sleep. They notice they have less, um, you know, inflammation in their body. They notice that they have more energy and mental concentration and focus. They notice they heal faster from wounds, faster wound healing. (laughs) And and so they notice they have more recovery from their exercises and their day-to-day activities, right? They don't have as much downtime. But I don't know what you're going to notice first. I don't. But I'll tell you that the majority of um, just from the clinical studies, the majority of people, even up up to 80 percent of the people are going to feel something different in the first three to six weeks. The rest of the people are going to feel something in three to six months. I don't know which group you're going to be in. If you want to be in the three to six week group, I highly recommend that you you put it on every day, the back of your neck, CV7, that bumpy part back there, and that you drink half your body weight in ounces in water every day. Here's a big thing, okay? People don't drink water. Or if they do, they're like, oh my God, I drink a lot of water. And I'm like, how much do you weigh? Oh, I weigh 150. Okay, great. Um, How much water do you drink a day? Well, I drink probably four eight ounce glasses. And I'm like, okay, so four times eight. Yeah, you weigh about 65 pounds. I thought you said you weighed 150. Half your body weight in ounces means you're weighing, you're drinking 75 ounces of water a day. If you drink coffee, you need to overcompensate with extra water. If you have a little, you know, caffeinated something else or maybe a glass of wine, again, extra water. But you have to remember this too. As you age, your cells become more and more dehydrated. So you will need to consume a little extra water to help compensate that. The way this patch works with light and water, the conductivity, your cells need that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be in that group that gets the results within that first three to six weeks, make sure you're getting half your body weight in ounces in water every single day. Right. Make sure you're putting it on, you leave it on 12 hours, you take it off, you throw it away or put it in your pet bed. Um, and do it again the next day and the next day and the next day. And like you heard Jill said, she didn't really notice anything in the beginning. Guess what? Neither did I. I'm healthy. I take care of myself. I exercise. I'm plant-based. I don't have any health things wrong with me, right? Like zero. Got my chiropractor, massage therapist, acupuncture, you know, nothing going on with me. So for me, it was about three weeks before I noticed a difference in my workouts. My workouts improved about three weeks in where like things became super effortless. Um, and then I also noticed that at that three week mark, my brain, so I, I'm a reader researcher, obviously I read and research things all the time. And for me, I, being able to save that information in my brain and file folders, and then be able to share that information with people is like, no big deal. I do that all the time. I felt like, and I love that David said this at the Nova conference earlier this year online. You remember that movie, Lucy? That's what I kept saying last year. I'm like, I feel like Lucy. I feel like I just tapped into the other 90% of my brain that I wasn't using. Everything just felt so fast and processing. And the wiring and firing was like, wow. And it stayed that way. I really have to be, watch myself to slow down my talking because otherwise I can get going really fast because my brain is just like this. And so that's definitely from this patch. So that's been super cool for me. But everything else is, I don't, I don't feel anything else. I just know based on my blood work that I'm 30 and I know that I feel amazing. And I know that I don't have any aches or pains or anything like that, that I'm going to be here for a very, very long time because the science and technology behind this is minimum. We're going to live to be 150 and look and feel 25. And I have said my entire life, this is, this is, this is so like profound for me that I've always said, I'm going to live to be 150 years old and I'm going to look and feel amazing. Cause I have so many things I want to do on this planet. So many things I want to experience. I didn't know how God did. I didn't need to know how enter life wave. Now I'm like, duh, I've been saying this for a long time. Of course, I'm going to live to be 150. Right. <laughs> and so using this patch for you, for your family members, um, for, you know, friends, people, coworkers, 
can be beneficial in all areas, all types of things. Now, of course, I can't recommend that you use this on your children. We can't recommend anything be used on anybody under the age of 18, right? Except for McDonald's. God, take them to McDonald's and give them French fries and chicken nuggets and a cheeseburger. That's going to be fabulous for that little child. But I'm definitely not going to recommend a stem cell activation patch, right? I'm trying to be not funny, but funny there. You guys get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, totally. totally right. Um, so definitely know that this is something that can be beneficial um, if you choose to use this with your child or with your grandchildren. Um, you know, of course, check with your physician, consult with their pediatrician, give them the information, share with them the, the stuff that you've learned and the things that you've read. Give them a, a catalog of brochure, send them to startx39.com uh, for sure. So definitely um, you know, reach out to them first. Mm -hmm. I know that they ask if there's an age limit again, I, I can't share that at all with you. Um, David did say that, yeah, the feedback, he would prefer them be able to communicate with you, but, um, yeah, nope, Taylor doesn't. So <laughs> yeah, she does more now than she ever has. So I do personally have a lot of friends that have children that have been nonverbal, uh, with autism and spectrum and different um, hearing and verbal disabilities um, and have now have children that are completely verbal and communicating and functioning perfectly fine where they didn't before. And so I, ha I have a lot of that actually with pa patients, parents that I work with. Um, so definitely um, it's, it's out there. Okay. Um, and so someone was asking if the lattice is in between the adhesive. So the patch is non-transdermal. So the lattice is not a, an actual physical thing. Okay. So it's, 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 it's light. All right. So this is kind of a difficult concept, right? It's light. It's like a frequency. If you're listening to your radio, you're going to listen to 84.2 to hear classical music. You're going to turn it to 99.5 and listen to that country. You're going to 103.2 and boy, you're dialed into classic rock. Different frequencies, different stations, right? So each individual patch has a different proprietary blend of those organic amino acids and salts and sugars that form different crystal lattices, but not actually like a, a, like a crystal, like a clear quartz crystal that's inside of the patch. Okay. So just know that it's not like a crystal, like you would see in the earth. Okay. So it's, it's photo biomodulation or, or light phototherapy. Okay. It's kind of a, a diff, not a difficult, but a different concept than I think we've been, you know, indoctrinated with everything so physically, you know, we can see it, you can see it under a microscope, all that. So yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a leap of, I don't want to say a leap of consciousness, but a different, <laughs> a different way of, um, of understanding. But the, but the thing is you can research photobiomodulation. True. So Easily. you can, you can, and, and it's been proven in clinical studies. So it's not like it's something that's kind of not tangible, like one person telepathically communicating to another. <laughs> Okay, so it's very tangible in the science world. And I know this because I, I do work with a lot of doctors and practitioners. And when you mention photobiomodulation, they're like, yeah, I'm familiar with that. Absolutely. Cool. Kind of think of it this way. Okay, red light therapy, blue light therapy, right? When my daughter yeah. goes to the acupuncturist, they use red lights and blue lights on different acupuncture meridians to do something inside of the body but nothing is entering the body, but the color of light, right? Does that make sense? You guys have seen the red, the infrared mm -hmm. pads that are hooked to these machines, right? That people sit and they have them on their bodies. Or maybe you've heard of like a, a far infrared sauna. Nothing's going into the body, right? Except for light, okay? So, so happens with this patch that because we are light, <laughs> we're the power source, we're the mini suns, right? So the, our body's light reflects back the signal from the patch, which increases our body's stem cell production, okay? Um, do you use a particular brain protocol with the patches for your daughter? Oh, nope, I just use the patches that I told you. X39 and Eon on the back of the neck, carnosine below the belly button a few times a week at bedtime. That's all I do. I don't, I, I don't do anything else. Like I said, glutathione here or there. I've not used another patch with her at all. 
I've never felt led to. I've never felt like, oh yeah, I'm going to do that with her. I just never have. Now I have used ice, ice wave on her um, sometimes with her neck, you know, and her back being in a wheelchair depends on if she gets a little crick here or there. Uh, I've put ice wave on the back of her, um, you know, like her trap area before. And she's like, oh, <laughs> yes, thank you. I need an adjustment. You know, if we've been in between adjustments or whatnot, but no, I haven't used anything else with her. Yeah, go ahead and either drop your questions in the chat or you can put your hand up. I'm going to take you off the pin. Um, I don't want myself pinned. Yeah, go ahead and um, drop them in the chat. Did I just do something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Brian's iPad. She unmuted. Go ahead. You have a question. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Sure can. so I have a, I, I had a back, I got introduced to the patch last week and I had back pain and within 15 minutes, my pain started subsiding, which is amazing. I've been wearing it for a week and my back pain is about 80% better. Um, I had a hard time not crying while you were talking of a special needs daughter who has epilepsy, cerebral palsy, autism. She was born without her corpus callosum. So I put the patch on her immediately when I put it on me on the back of her neck and getting her ready for school, putting her braces on. And she's normally, she vocally stims very loudly. So she makes noises and she has about 10 or 15 words that she actually says, but she vocally stims very constantly and very loudly. And so she was doing this vocal stimming and about 10 or 15 minutes after I put the patch on, Elmo was on, she was watching Elmo and she started just, the noise came way, 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 way down. And she was making noises, but they were so much less intense and quieter. And I was just like, I was, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I've tried everything, cannabis, every single natural and unnatural Mm -hmm. medication to try to calm her down. Cause she does the stimming while she's eating too. She makes these noises and it scares me because I feel like she's going to choke. And anyway, so it it calmed down by that. Four people at her school, her special needs program, her teacher and aide, the bus driver and my caregiver all noticed a difference in her behavior. Like it had just come down several notches and she does more stimming with me, but she got home that afternoon and saw me and the stimming was just right back up, really loud, really constant. And then I put the patch on every morning and same thing. The stimming is kind of back to that level, high level. And so I'm like, well, my back is definitely better. Maybe her body has other things that the patch is working on and it's not working. Cause it happened one time and it was like a miracle. It's like, where did this level go of intensity? Right. She was so much calmer, but then it just kind of went away. Mm-hmm. And then last night um, she started, you know, like I said, she has about 10 or 15 where she starts saying like, no more, no more. And she's kind of hitting her head like this. And we couldn't figure out what, what, what it could possibly be. And she had a detached retina when she was three. And I, you know, I called it. I was so worried. I called the retinal specialist. He answered the phone last night. And he said, no, that doesn't sound like a detached. But I'd never seen her do this. No more, no more. And um, just like in pain and everything. So um, I thought I had forgotten to take the patch off. Well, because I usually would put it on for 12 hours. I had forgotten to take it off. And I thought, can you leave the patch on for too long in the beginning when the body is starting to get used to it? And was, could this possibly have been because the next morning she woke up this morning and she was absolutely fine. Just Mm -hmm. back, like nothing had ever happened. And she was really agitated and really going like, and saying no more. And I didn't know what she wanted no more of, because she can't say my head hurts, my stomach hurts. I mean, she has 10, 15 words and she doesn't talk in sentences. Mm -hmm. So I never know what it is. It's always a process of elimination. So I guess my question is, I know you can't, tell me you don't have a crystal ball and I don't expect you to and you're not really allowed to tell me but I'm just wondering so I didn't put the patch on this morning I thought well let me just give her body a break but can you patch too much or not and then how long did you leave it on her um, of hours yeah yesterday it was um it, it was a little over 12 hours mm-hmm. it was a little over 12 hours and yeah. I usually take it off exactly 12 hours but I've been putting it on every day and I, I, I don't know. I mean, it could be something completely different. It might not have anything. Right. To do. I mean, but I'm just trying to fi- go ahead. Yeah. Everybody's different, obviously. And so yeah. maybe for her, it is, she is feeling a lot of things happening inside of her because some people do feel a lot with it. And so maybe it's just, you know, start with six hours and see how she does with that. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking it slow. 
And, but I mean, with Taylor, I didn't, I just slapped it on her and sent her on her way, but you know, everybody's different. And especially if she's saying, you know, no more, maybe she means take it off. And not that a few minutes past 12 hours is going to make a big difference from 12 hours, but maybe just go back to six or eight hours and and see how she does from there. Yeah. Maybe she needs to build up to it. Um, But I would definitely use the Eon with her too. Um, and okay, yeah, I was going to ask you that. So you say you put the Eon and the life, uh, the X39 right on that uh, C7 area. You put well, them both Eon, like side by side. No, X39 goes on CV7 and then Eon goes below it. Okay. And then the, and, and the kerosene is also a life wave patch. Uh-huh. Carnosine is a patch that Carnosine. you would use below the belly button um, at and, nighttime. And do you put her to sleep with that or do you, to take it off before she goes to sleep so she wears it during Every sleep. has its own 12 hour window so you can okay. put it on her like say six o'clock at night and take it off at six o'clock in the morning before she goes to school okay and then the other thing is do you have you, you mentioned that you have a lot of other special needs families that are using this patch has anybody ever talked about noticing a calming of their special needs kid from because if i could calm her down that would be like I mean, she's so agitated all the time and she's so going like this. And even when she's eating, I'm like, I've tried to make those noises and do this kind of motion that she does. And I'm exhausted after two seconds of doing it. And I just want her to have a break from her intensity level. And so I'm wondering, have you ever met anybody who has said that they, that their kid was able to calm down a little bit from the patch? Yeah. So the Eon patch is called our happy patch. And what it does is it puts the body in a parasympathetic state, which is that rest and digest yes. versus yes. the fight or flight. Yes. So that's why it's very important. Not only does it reduce inflammation systemically, um, but it definitely helps put the body in a calm, relaxed state, especially if her, her wound up crazy time out of control, like what ah, is during the day, then use that during the day with her at the same time you're using the X39. Okay. Um, so, so you can help her with that calm. Um, there's also a patch called Nirvana mm-hmm. and Nirvana is a mood stabilizer. It's a, a, it works with the neural hormones, the neurotransmitters in the brain to help balance with anxiety and stress, worry, depression, things like that. Um, so that may be something down the road. I wouldn't start with that right now. I would start, you know, X39, Eon, Carnosine, um, you know, giving her I- body time to slowly work into those. Okay. And the person that introduced it to me, she said that, that, that all these patches that you're mentioning were kind of pre X39 and that the X39 is kind of like the capsule that it does everything so that you don't, she didn't feel that you really needed the other patches, but you're saying absolutely. That's not true. Absolutely not true. Absolutely not. No. So David invented the first patch 17 years ago for the Navy SEALs. He invented the energy enhancer to help the seals with sustainability and endurance and stamina and energy in the field instead of uppers and caffeine and amphetamines. Um, mm-hmm. God gave him the information, downloaded it into him to create a non-transdermal patch that turned body fat into fuel. And so mm-hmm. that was the start of the company 17 years ago. And he has invented other patches along the way. Um, like I mentioned, glutathione and carnosine, there's, you know, 12 different patches, supportive mm-hmm. patches are what we call them because they support different systems in the body. Um, Eon was the number one selling patch until the X39 was released a couple years ago. And like I said, it took David 10 years to figure out how to signal the body to increase its own stem cells. So the other patches are 100% important and beneficial for different things, um, for different people, of course, at different times, different situations. But I would definitely not say that the X39 is going to do There's no way. I mean, the the X39 is like the glutathione. It signals a peptide in the liver to increase the body's own glutathione level by 300% and sustaining it for a 24 hour period. Glutathione is the master antioxidant, the immune booster, the detoxer. This X39 does not do that. There's no way it can. It's signaling a peptide called GHKCU. So very different patches. They all signal different peptides and do different things in the body. They all work synergistically but they also all work individually to do what's needed to be done with inside of the body. And it's all about bringing the body into balance. It's all about helping the body get into homeostasis, which is what it wants. 
it's either out of balance from obviously injury or illness or, um, you know, lifestyle, diet, surgeries, different things cause the body to get out of balance. Obviously things happen at birth, right? We're specifically talking about special needs children. For my daughter, it wasn't a thing at birth at all. She was born perfectly fine. But for a lot of kids, they were born with something or something happened Mm -hmm. to them when they were young, right? Whether it's a vaccine injury or or something else that had happened to them that caused them with different types of specifically a lot of times neurological issues, right? And Mm so stem cells, again, are absolutely, you know, the whole, the whole thing is to regenerate, repair and rejuvenate the cells, the tissues and the organs of the body to seek that, you know, get back into that homeostasis. So they can definitely benefit and help people in many different areas, right? Um, But using the patches synergistically works amazing. (laughs) Uh Yeah, don't they recommend starting with the X39 patch? Is that true? Yeah, Yeah, a lot of people do. Just X39, you know, and for me, we only had that one sleeve of retail uh, that I purchased from that wellness center. So I used the X39 on Taylor for a week before I got the Eon in because I ordered immediately for my friend April and I got the Eon in and I immediately that second week put that on her uh, with the X39. And then I waited, like I said, a couple of weeks and I started using carnosine with her. Um, You don't need to wait 90 days on the X39 in order to decide if you want to use another patch. I do not believe that at all. I believe that X39 is an incredible patch. It is the flagship patch, 100% the foundation of everything you want to do. You want to have that patch on first. But sometimes with people, there are other patches that will help support um, their systems and what they need specifically for their body. And there's nothing wrong with using that right away. Um, what, one other I slapped, quick, quick. I slapped six patches on day one that I got my kid in. <laughs> and I yeah. was eight every single day. So I don't wear one. I'm here for the long haul and I want all systems in check. Yeah. Is there any, one, one more question. Is there anything that the carnosine, I'm not saying that right, but I think carnosine, it it would be contraindicated for, because my daughter has a metabolic condition, probably from one of her seizure medications. That's metabolic acidosis where her urine is too acidic. Mm-hmm. Is there any uh, anything that the carnosine patch would be contraindicated? Because I don't know so, who else I could ask that for. Yeah, that her- yeah, I don't know what medication she's on or obviously what's going on with her. So I would definitely not make a recommendation. I would just say check with her physician. Um, but if you look at carnosine, carnosine is an antioxidant that our body makes. And so this patch signals the body to make more of its own carnosine. But you would need to do your research or, or check with your physician on that if you feel like it's something, as with all the patches, because I don't know your daughter yeah. medical history or anything like right. that. So no, I know. I know you can't. I would use for my child, but my child doesn't have that kind of situation. So I, I definitely don't want to say whether or not there's any contraindications for her. We know right. with, so I, in general I with the patches, people yeah. don't have any issues with medications and things like that because there's nothing going into the body. Right. This is signaling different pathways. Um, So very different than taking a supplement or a pill or or putting a tincture or lotion on. It's a very different type of process. Okay. um, Yeah. I reached out to my children's neurologist when we, when I first thought about using them and sent them the information and she was like, go ahead. Now that um, it's been some time, you know, I think I'm going to continue the discussion with her, you know, now that I'm seeing some results and see more about, he's, you know, my son is still on a bunch of medications and she, if she has any insight into that, just from, you know, the experience. But again, it's so not far. like taking, it's not like taking kerosene. It's not like, oh, I want to give my True. daughter carnosine. Can I do that with this epilepsy medicine that she's taking? It's not the same thing because you're not actually giving her carnosine. You're just activating that in her system. If I'm understanding correctly. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Victoria asked, she said, as a teacher of Feldenkrais, we've done a lot of Feldenkrais in the past. Uh, she's seen children and adults with scoliosis to, uh, soften and improve a lot. And kyphosis, which is that hump at the top of the back, lymphatic congestion goes away. How do you think X39 can change it, eliminate these different types of um, kyphosis or um, scoliosis so quickly? Curious what you think. So, um, you know, the entire nervous system comes on board um, and starts to start functioning correctly with the X39. We know that. 
And so even with chiropractic adjustments, um, things still, you know, don't always function correctly, even with massage or Feldenkrais or different types of modalities, they're still, it, it's so different with stem cells. Um, so different when you have something that's reducing inflammation. So if there's inflammation around those bones, around those joints, and that inflammation is reduced, then you have an area that could be able to move or, or shift or slide. Um, I remember David saying back in June last year in LA that he was working with people with scoliosis and they were using ice wave at the location of the curve and Eon right below the curve and being able to see differences in seven days. So reducing inflammation, stopping the pain, you know, stem cells, they just literally have the ability to repair anything. So for her, you know, how are her bones straightening or how, how has her skull changed formation? God gave David this information. <laughs> That's how he's used that information to help people and have a better quality of life. And, and again, like I said, the body knows what to do. It, it knows how to repair and regenerate itself. When you cut yourself, nobody heals that. And then you can put a bandaid on, but the body heals itself. When you break a bone, you you may go get a cast on it to set it, but there's no medicine or, or any drug or doctor that's going to repair that bone, right? It's going to heal because the body heals itself and because it has the stem cells, which is why when you age, you see that you don't heal as fast. You don't recover as fast from injuries and things because the body is lacking those stem cells. So this patch just has the ability to go in and do whatever is needed. And with Taylor, her head needed to be straightened out, right? And reducing that inflammation and bringing those stem cells on board. So um, definitely, yeah. Um, One thing somebody uh, just mentioned in the chat is the only contraindication is if you're for uh, chemo, if you're undergoing chemotherapy, or I believe it's transplant. Um, yeah, if you've had an organ yeah. transplant, then you're probably yeah. on some major, you know, anti uh, rejection drugs. So you would not want to be using the stem cell activation patch because it's increasing the production of stem cells to go in and repair an area. And if you've got a foreign organ in there, that's not a, David says that's not a good combo. So no. And then if you're on chemotherapy, that kills. It just kills everything. So no need to use a stem cell activation patch while you're on chemo. Now, the day you stop that chemo, then start patching the next day after that. Um, so is it someone asked if it's purchased through the website or is it like a multi-level right. marketing company? So get back with the person that invited you. You can't just go to lifewave.com and order. You have to actually purchase through an independent distributor. Right. So wherever you saw this information or heard this from, um, I don't know who Jackson is, but just get back with the person that you found out about this through and they can help you get set up with whatever patches we have retail options and wholesale options. Um, so we get that person can share that with you as well, too. Yeah, I and just dropped my info in there. If, if you have been in, if it came through me or whatnot, reach out. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to say that it's safe for ep epilepsy. Obviously, I'm not a doctor to say that. So check with your physician for sure. Um, if you um, have concerns, right? Remember? So yeah, so thank you. Thank Jill. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. Having me on here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all your interaction, yeah. ladies. And thank you so much. Young, thank you so much for being on here today. Yes. Thanks again. Thanks again, Stacey. I was like so moved again by hearing your story and um, everybody that's on here. Uh, thanks for coming. And if you're interested, I put my email in there. If you, if someone didn't invite you, you just showed up here, um, reach out to me, reach out to, to Stacy. Uh, happy to provide more information. I, I've been blown away by these, you know, after years and years of experience in our traditional medical systems, see a lot of light coming through with this, this, um, these patches. And I mean that, I mean that, uh, actually metaphysically and, uh, you know, right in our current reality. So <laughs> thanks again for, if you, um, if you want a copy of the recording, I'll, I'll share that. Um, you can email me or I'll put it in the, the chat, um, on the telegram group. I didn't put the link for that. Um, yeah, reach out to me if you want a recording. Otherwise, um, it'll also be, on, I'll put it in the Facebook and the event I created on Facebook. I'll 
share a link there. So thanks everybody for attending. Um, thank you, Jill. Hope it was helpful. Thank you. And uh, thank you so yeah. much. This has been really great. Thank you. Thank you. Blessing. All right. I think thank we're going to wrap it up. Awesome job, Jill. All right. Thank thanks, you. ladies. Thanks, every gentlemen. See you guys thank later. Thanks again, Stacy. Fabulous. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to end the call. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.